It doesn't happen too very often, but when it does, we don't know what to do. Hold on, let me switch switch the camera around. All right, yeah, that's better. All right, we are in the middle of an epic event here in the great state of Texas. You'll be seeing this probably tomorrow. Uh, I've got cameras doing time lapse of the snow accumulation. We're supposed to we're supposed to get several inches. Some places as much as eight. And for those of you who, who don't know, that's a lot of snow for us. And it is just so, so very cold. I brought Miss V here to the house to make sure that, uh, cause I didn't put it, I did not do a, a complete winterization. I blew out all the lines. Uh, but with the temperature dropping down into the single digits, I wanted to have have the RV here so I could keep the heater running. So I'll keep you posted as the day progresses. All right, so the the big blue is moving in. Here, let me flip the camera around. The blizzard-like conditions are starting. Of course, it doesn't look like much of a blizzard just yet. Kind of same thing it's been doing all day. And it's like 15 degrees. So I'll keep you posted. Stay tuned. More to come. 21 degrees. Man, it's really starting to come down now. Not blizzard-like conditions yet. What a cool time to be building a fire on the patio. Whoo! All right. I'm toughing it out for you. Stay tuned. I'll keep you posted. Not sure how well you can see because of the fence. I'm afraid to walk too much closer. Man, I have just had a non-stop bird feeding fest today. Because yesterday I went and, or actually this yesterday and this morning, I scattered a lot of seed on the ground, anticipating them needing some feed. Just goes to show you. Life goes on. And I have got myself a nice hot fire. It's still 30 degrees on the patio. But it's 17 degrees out there. <laughs> I'm going to stay on the patio. So this, this really is truly a, a, a random snow day video. <laughs> that wind is cold. Whew. So this, this is the this is the leeward side of the house. So I'm a, I'm gonna head out to Miss V and start the motor. We're gonna come around here into the wind. Oh man, it's frigid. Ooh. 
We are not accustomed to this. A few minutes ago, I saw someone pulling a child behind the pickup kind of sledding or on a sled or a pallet or something now is it just me or is, is that not dangerous to be dragging your kid around behind your pickup on a public street I don't care if there's snow and there's not hardly anybody out here but there's not a whole lot of snow on this street not really a whole lot of ice and so if your kid falls off, he's, it's pretty well guaranteed there's going to be an injury. Is, is it just, so you got post down there in the comments and you tell me, am I being an old fuddy duddy fart because I think it's stupid to be dragging your kid around behind your truck, even if there's snow on the ground, this is it's not a playground all right i'm gonna go start miss v and and get some heat flowing through through her bones i'll be back i don't like cold hold on there we go i don't like the cold it, it just it, it's not texas weather all right so i, I began to question the accuracy of the thermometer and so i went out to the garage and i got a old reliable thermometer can you see that it's in reverse so that it's not it's not oh two degrees it is here on the patio about 17 degrees fortunately i have the the face thawer and i got hold on i have the feet thawer a nice big hot fire going here <laughs> man this is this is the best place to be right here so the patty the, the thermometer I was relying on is out here uh, and it's 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 showing 19 degrees there's no way <laughs> no way that it's 19 degrees out there my phone even says that it's like 15 but i know if it's if it's 17 up here where i've got the heater out of the wind there out there it's 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 got to be 17 degrees you get in the wind man that, that wind chill will tear you up it is freaking cold i'm ready for it to go away all right, you're going to the end of this video because I'm going to give you an update on the next four campgrounds, the next four videos, or the next eight videos, the next four campgrounds we're going to visit, as well as give you kind of an overview of where we're going. Where we're going when it gets warmer. <laughs> Man. We're going to look at the big map. And I'm going to kind of lay out the reservations that I have. Uh, and the reservations that I'm going to be making. At least up through uh, July. I've, I've not really figured out exact. I just realized that the camera's like right there. I've been, I've been looking on that side, so I need to be looking at you over here. So I'm going to be uh, giving you an update on kind of where 
that's that's a really bad picture. How about looking at the fire? Well, that's awkward. So we're going to talk about where we're going when things start thawing out and where we're going to be in the next several months. And if you want to do a meetup, post a comment down there in the comment section and we'll see if we can arrange that. Uh, I'm going to be... In a, in a couple of different areas, down around, in the, the, I'm going to be doing Lake Somerville. So we're going to pay a visit to Lake Somerville. Uh, there are two state park campgrounds on Lake Somerville, and there's a couple of Corps of Engineer campgrounds. I'm going to actually be spending almost a week there shooting video. So if you want to meet up, stay tuned. I'll give you those dates. And... Before that, we're going to be down at Stephen F. Austin and Brazos Bend. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you the dates for that. All right. Back to tending the fire. Well, so far, we haven't had any major blizzard kind of activity. It's just been off and on flurries. Uh, as you can see behind me, oh wait a minute, let me let me turn this around. We got we have more white than we do brown, and it's continuing to come down. <laughs> I'm a poet, and I and I know it. Anyway, <laughs> we, we may get some more in the next couple of hours. Either way. It'll be all right. I just hope it goes away. It's not going away for, you know, uh, it's Sunday today, and it's not going away until probably Friday. Anyway, I'm going to come back in tomorrow. We're, uh, all right, so that's that's the end of today's Sunday's Snow Day broadcast. Uh, I'm going to close out with the time-lapse footage, and I'm going to find some cool tunes for y'all to, to jam out while you watch the snow fall and accumulate. Tomorrow we'll kick back in, and I'll go into a little more detail about future plans and potential meetups. So stay tuned. More to come. All right, so... Not quite blizzard conditions. All right, I'm cutting in here. I already, I already told you we were going to be talking tomorrow. But I'm cooking on the patio. Got a big old hot fire burning in the, in the fireplace pit thing. I got a big hot fire burning while I'm out here cooking on a patio. And you, as you can see, the snow is really coming down. Not quite blizzard conditions. But we're going to be white come morning. All right, so stay tuned. More to come. Oh, it's cold. As you can see, the sun is out. Uh, the, the temperature <laughs> temperature's really low. Now that's in the direct sun. Before the sun started shining on it, we were right at seven degrees. And for y'all that are from the northern climes, this is no big deal. For us, it's a really big deal. We're having rolling power outages. They, my power went off last night at 2 and didn't come back on this morning until 7. Whew. All right, let's head inside and look at the big map. Well, I had to show you this before I went in the house. It's so beautiful. I hate it, but it's, it's beautiful. 
But it's so cold. Man. All right, let's go. So here we are, the big map. As you can see, we, we just finished up down here with Village Creek, Walter Humphreys, and Sea Rim. And then I added, ended up adding some more up here in the blue Corps of Engineer Campgrounds and Oklahoma State Parks. You have yet to see some of those. So the next journey, we're going to go visit uh, Lake of the Pines. Let me step over here to the edge. The, the date going to February on February 26th. We're going to go to Lake of the Pines, Buckhorn Creek, and then the next journey scheduled after that is going to be in March, March 21. We're going down here to Stephen F. Austin, which is right here. This green one, whoop, this green one. And then later in that same week, we'll be going to Brazzles Bend down here. So that's March 21 and 24. And then in April, We'll be going to Lake Somerville here. And we're going to also, we'll spend three days here and then three days at Rocky Point on Lake Somerville. April 11, Lake Somerville, Birch Creek. And on the 14th, we'll be at Rocky Creek. Then the next journey after that, so far scheduled, uh... I'm working on billing out a trip to North Carolina for the 4th of July weekend. I don't have locations and dates set for that yet. And May and June, I'm thinking May will be probably Lake Whitney. There's a, a number of Corps of Engineer campgrounds on Lake Whitney that I have yet to do. And June... Uh, it's still kind of up in the air, but um, there's a Corps of Engineer, two Corps of Engineer campgrounds out here somewhere around, oh heck, I can't remember the, the town, but there's two of them out there that I need to pick up. So that's the schedule. If you guys are, if, if you're down in these this area and you want to do a meetup, post a comment down there, uh, yes or no. It'll have to be a, a socially distanced meetup. So we'll, we'll want to be doing the, the socially distant thing because I I'm, I'm, have a compromised immune system. So anyway, that pretty well wraps it up. It's cold. It's cold here in Texas. We're just, and we're not fed up for this kind of cold. Fortunately, it doesn't happen very often. This is probably a once in a lifetime development for us. Hey, if you've enjoyed the visit, give me a thumbs up. And, I, and you know what to do from there. Click on subscribe and bell and all that. But hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you. Y'all come back now, you hear?